So hey guys, what's up? This is Ezekiel, and welcome back to the next episode of the Battle Cats Evolution series. Woo! So in the last video, we talked about the Vacation Queen cat, and so today we're gonna move on to the next cat on the list right here, which is actually gonna be a super uber cat because, you know, haven't done that in a while, and so I chose to do the Mola King. So I'm sure that a lot of people are probably thinking, whoa, what the heck is this cat? I've never seen this cat, um, you know, in the game before, or I haven't really seen people who've been using this cat. That's because it's one of those collaboration cats that happened, I think, two years ago, sometime in April or May. I forget when exactly, but there was something called, like, uh, Survive Mola Mola, I think. Um, it was basically... A collaboration between the Battle Cats and another game where it's like super fish based and stuff. I actually tried that before. It was sort of fun. Delete the app though because like I kind of, you know, got a little tired of it. But it was still a, an interesting sort of concept regardless. And so I decided to do um, this particular Uber Cat today. I know it's only level 22. I'll sort of explain that as the video goes on. But let's just uh, get right into the logistics right here. So the Mola King dropping in from Survive Mola Mola. So I was actually right about that. His size is almost without equal, and so is his royal arrogance, air attack damage. So, uh, nothing special about this cat, has no sort of affiliations with like anti-reds or anti-metals, stuff like that. It's just a really basic uber cat that has air attack damage, so, you know, nothing too impressive, but... It's pretty neato, like you got a fish that's like super royal and epic looking. Um, you can only see a little bit of him right here in the picture obviously, but uh, well actually <laughs> as I edit these videos you can probably see his attack and stuff, but I always like to uh, I always like to show it off anyways later on with my like own opinions and stuff, but uh, but anyways, he's like a really cool looking uh, fish cat right here, so it's pretty impressive. Um, the next form right here, and it's final form, so this cat only has two forms, which, you know, kind of sucks, but it is a collaboration cat, so what can you expect? Um, but its last form right here is the Living Legend. Whoa, what's this cat all about then? Bears the burden of a watery destiny, regrets a long scream can take care of doubt and worries, air attack. So um, what this is referencing is actually what happens in the other game, which I think what happens is that, uh, I think at some point, like if you make a fish or something, it just dies of a certain cause. If you like feed it too much or something like that, it's not too sure, but regardless, it's like, you know, it's destined to like not make it due to external causes, which kind of sucks for this fish right here, but it's all right because there's always like a replacement fish that will take up the ranks and like get back to the status and all that fun stuff. So um, nothing special about this cat either. It still has the air attack damage. From the stats, uh, a stat perspective, um, the only thing that really changes is that it has increased attack power versus its first form. But other than that, nothing else that's really worth mentioning. So that's pretty much all I could say for that. So um, let's just uh, show off the first two forms, or just the, the two forms. <laughs> there are no, no first two forms. See, I'm, I'm always... Uh, thinking about like the true forms and stuff because in the true forms there's three forms in total but since there's only two forms this cat right here there's only you know the first and last one obviously so uh let's just go to the dojo real quick then and let's uh let's talk about oh whoops did not mean to do that let's talk about the uh looks right here that <laughs> sort of reminds me of like the the song thing that my girlfriend likes to sing occasionally from time to time it's like uh well i'm not gonna sing it right now because it's probably a little bit inappropriate but it's still cool uh, reference anyway, so obviously the one thing that you'll probably notice is that this cat is fairly expensive, it's 4200 which is not the greatest, so you know, it's uh, something that I want to be careful of, but when this guy attacks though, do, do you see this right now? You have like a giant, well, <laughs> let's just I, mean, I guess there's like too many things right here, and I'm actually going to summon an eraser cat real quick because I'm going to talk about why though in a, a few seconds but look at this guy, a giant floating, like, fish thing in the sky, has a giant epic crown on his head, has a little stash sort of thing going on right there, and when this guy attacks, he's like, Aah! he like screams and then shoots out um, a blaze of like sound and like epic royalness towards the enemies. Um, you can see that it sort of moves a little bit slowly in comparison to like the eraser cat right here, for example, but you know, obviously most ubers uh, move slowly anyways. But um, if you're wondering the reason why I actually sent out the eraser cat right here is because Despite the coolness and greatness of this cat, the one downside is that it actually dies really, really easily. So it has virtually no health. So um, 
if it were to take a few hits from like a really weak enemy such as the squirrel right there it actually dies basically instantaneously so it's a major drawback of this cat but again it's a collaboration cat what do you expect i'm not really you're, you shouldn't expect like you know great things from collaboration cats they're more so there for like uh you know collection purposes but uh either way despite the fact that it like dies in like one hit really or a few like really small hits it's uh still a really cool fish cat overall i must say get it because there's like actually already a fish cat there's actually three variants of fish cat actually four if you count the um the christmas event cat sort of thing so ha. <laughs> but anyways um yeah it's a cool cat with the uh, a lot of downsides right here. Its attack power is actually not that great either, as an uber cat, let's say, because there are obviously a lot of other uber cats that do like way more damage. So you know, again, don't expect a whole lot from this cat. But in terms of its aesthetical looks and you know gimmicks and stuff like that, it's a pretty, uh, pretty fun cat. So let's just speed this up a little bit. So send maybe a few racer cats this time. And this, my friends, is the living legend. So it's definitely a step up. You can see that he's definitely more older looking, and there's there's uh, signs of like, uh, what's the word, of age. So his whiskers are a lot longer and like more uh, like wiggly looking. His crown has some seaweed and other things kind of growing out of it. There's a fish actually following him, and then he has a battle scar of some sort on the side right there. Oops, got him forward a little bit. And his eyes are sort of like slightly closed and sort of like that generic... Um, I guess like in the animes and stuff when you have like an old character and look at that just dies instantly <laughs> but uh you know so despite like oops did not mean to send that cat right there but despite you know well nah never mind despite its looks and stuff it's still you know not a fantastic cat but uh, still looks great am i right anyways let's just get to the battle composition right here so uh, today what we're gonna be using is uh the money combo sort of thing going on right here so it's gonna just help to summon the um the molokin cat or i should say the living legend a lot faster and we sort of went for like a, a fish like um theme of cats right here minus the eraser cat because that's just like a basic wall cat but we're gonna be rocking with the fisherman cat, of course, because like that's the guy that fishes up the cats. We gotta get the mer cat so that the fisherman cat's not lonely. And then we got the actual fish cat because you know it has literally fish in its name. It's the fish cat, and then the living legend because that's the cat that we're showing off right here, obviously. So I figured that to in order to best showcase this particular event cat, uh, why don't we do um, an event stage? with an event cat right here, and that's Slime to Victory, which actually, um, I just saw today, which is why I sort of was just like, oh, maybe we should just do like a, an event cat to actually use for this particular stage right here. So it says Rainy Day Races, which, you know, obviously the name of the stage sometimes alleviates or it uh, hints towards what enemies you'll find in the game, or not the game, sorry, the particular event, but, um, at the moment, it's looking uh, pretty city-like, so I'm actually not sure what to expect right here. Um, this could be a reference to something. I'm not really seeing it right now. Oh my goodness, what is this thing right here? We've got like a weird worm-looking thing with a three on it. I'm sure this is supposed to mean something like epic and crazy, but right away, I'm not really seeing what it is. So obviously it's a red enemy, which is it's, it's good because we have a fish cat to sort of... Uh, fight that off so we're gonna just summon like the team right here and see what exactly it does okay so it looks like it doesn't do a whole lot of damage oh look look at that <laughs> um the, the mola king was actually able to one shot it so even though i said that its attack power isn't the greatest like it's still it's not bad it's like just because i said it's not the greatest it doesn't mean like it's weak or anything so it's able to still sound to do a fair amount of damage and it can attack from a, f uh, a far enough distance too which i don't think i actually mentioned oh look at that <laughs> we literally, <laughs> literally just beat the stage in like three seconds not bad at all but i think it's actually that's actually not the end right there There's a few more stages that we can do but uh yeah it has a fairly good attack range so despite the fact that it's really squishy as long as you protect it with uh you know wall cats and stuff like that to prevent it from getting hit then you should be good and it will continuously attack from um from the distance that it's at so uh let's just continue right here then the first stage is actually not too bad i was actually i guess i always have over expectations for uh these uh, sorts of levels and stuff because I'm expecting like something really difficult to come by or like a massive wave of enemies but uh, not really so back at it again right here with the wiggly dude not sure what his name is don't even think yeah usually for like event cats and stuff they don't record it in like the battle cats uh, 
Battle Cat's uh, dex thing, so uh, you never really know what uh, what's happening. But look at that, Mola King just one shot to the dude right there. I'll send the the tr uh, the trio right here once again, just because you know never too sure what to expect right here, and just keep summoning the Eraser Cats in case of something crazy. But uh, I don't know. That first stage was pretty simple, nothing too crazy right there. Oh, actually, they sent another Wiggler-like uh, creature right there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so it's kind of neat because like even the eraser cats can take them down, but it looks like there is another kind of worm. So we got the number two, which is the black. Okay, so I'm assuming number, so I'm assuming there's three types of worms then. The third one is the red one, the second one is the black one, which seemed like I could barely see it, but it looked like it was kind of, uh, it was moving a little bit faster and also can take a little bit more hits, but... It's kind of sad because, you know, when the Eraser Cats can, like, finish off the enemies, you know that uh, the enemies aren't really that strong to begin with. So, um, maybe, maybe I misjudged the Mola King's attack power because the enemies are just so weak. Because I didn't realize the enemies were that weak, so, um, might have to recalculate that or something. But in case you're wondering, it's about, like, 30,000 damage What is what the Mola King can do. So, um, you can sort of, uh, go off of that number right there. But uh, we're gonna summon an eraser cat. Oh, look at that! They're starting to summon a few more of these worm dudes, but um, shouldn't be too bad. Summon the Mola King. Look at that! Ah, when he screams and his eyes are like, ah. Okay, so it looks like they're sort of they're sort of stepping it up. They sent the uh, the black room this time, but um, obviously it's not really doing anything to our guys. I would imagine that it's doing area attack damage because it looks like. Well, it kind of just seems that way to me. <laughs> I, I guess I can't really tell unless I know that like a bunch of various cats die all at once or something like that. But um, anyways, we're doing pretty good right here. Does, does the fish theme sort of make sense with this? Oh, okay. Does the fish theme sort of make sense with this because it's raining outside and stuff? And I, I feel like it's a uh, it's a uh, interesting it's it's an interesting. Uh, theme to go off right here, but uh, the Angel Wiggly Dude thingy is definitely a lot stronger. It is doing air attack damage, which I did notice right here, and it is taking a few more hits than normal to die. It did take a one shot from the Mola King, and it's still standing right here. Then again, again, the Mola King's not, like, you know, that strong anyways, but it's still pretty impressive, so it took a second shot right there, still standing. I imagine it's gonna need, like, one more shot till it dies, and yes, it does. Well, <laughs> it wasn't from the Mola King, but it just, uh, they died from like the weaker units down here, so yeah, it's uh, I don't know, that uh, I guess I was expecting a lot more <laughs> to be totally honest from like the angel wiggler dude thingy, but uh, I suppose maybe maybe it's not even done there, maybe it goes even further, like it goes from three to zero, and maybe zero is like a metal enemy of some sort, maybe if that's the case, actually. I might uh, switch it up a little bit, just cause like, you know, think ahead right here. So I'm pretty sure this is strong against reds. Um, do we have a metal cat that still sort of looks like fishy in some way, like a fish theme sort of thing? Just wondering. Um, not really. I mean, guess we can get uh, creative right here from corpse. Hmm. Um, I think, yeah, okay, so we'll, Okay, we'll swap out. Oh, but if we swap with the mermaid, then the fisherman will be alone. Hmm, okay, now we, we can deal with the fish cat because we already have a giant fish anyway. So we're going to get the banner cat. Now the banner cat, we're going to say, is the son of the of the fisherman cat. And he is currently in a camp that specializes in, like, uh, you know, fishing. Fishing, um, tackling, like fish tackling, stuff like that. So I feel like we have, like, the full family right here. Oh, yeah. And then the fish... Uh, the living legend, of course. So we're gonna bring these cats, just in case, because I'm not sure if there's like metal enemies or anything like that. So we're just gonna have to see right here. And I realize what you're thinking. Easy, you should have brought like a critical hitting cat, because that would obviously do more damage to the metal cat. I know, but uh, I'm trying to keep it like metal themed right here, you know. So just gonna stick with that. Actually, well, I don't know. If we lose this level, then pro that that'll be the reason why we lost. But. Uh, We'll just see what happens right here. Okay, so they sent out a sloth right here. Okay, that's kind of a little bit random, but I can roll with that. Hopefully we can still win this level right here. So I'm gonna send up the banner. What was his name again? I actually forgot. <laughs> As you can tell, like, uh, obviously there's a couple of cats in this game that, or many cats anyways, that I don't really use. So obviously, I don't really know um, what they're called and stuff. But so far, it looks like we're kind of doing all right. Nothing too crazy. That sloth, though, is like, 
definitely going to be like the only biggest issue, but um, it's never, that stuff's never going to hit our uh, Mulliken right here, as long as we keep up this uh, powerful wall right here. So, yeah, I guess really at this point we're just going to try to see uh, if we can uh, beat these guys with the help of the Mulliken right here. Um, but, yeah, honestly, I think the Mulliken or the Living Legend is... It's not like a bad cat, even though I, I just said earlier that like, you know, most event cast collaboration cats are sort of gimmicky, so they're not really meant for like actual use. They're sort of there for like collections or you can use them for fun if you want to, but I don't know. It's like if you don't have a lot of uber cats and you just so happen to pick this guy up and he's sort of like your only uber cat other than like, you know, the other ones that you unlock in the story mode, then it's sort of, you know, it's all right. It's definitely fun to use. I like fish myself. I keep 20, uh... Juvenile guppies in my aquarium, which uh, I realized or I remembered that uh, some people wanted me to actually show them in the video at some point in the future, so I've not forgotten that. But I'm just looking for like the right time to do so. Um, I can tell you a few updates, maybe on my fish tank. Uh, the 20 juveniles that keep in my tank are all starting to grow their colors on their tails, so I can sort of uh, distinguish them a little bit easier uh, from the mass of them, because way before when they were just born, like, they all look the same, so it's really difficult to tell who's who. Um, but I, th I feel like waiting a little bit longer once they're a little bit bigger, so I can actually give them names and stuff, so I can sort of tell who's who, but uh, for the moment, um, there there's just 20 unnamed fancy guppies in my tank. So just gonna wait till they uh, grow a little bit bigger for that. Um, Anyways, yeah, let's just, uh, hmm, we might, you know, to be totally honest, we might have to send out other cats right here to help. We do have, let's see, hmm, well, none of the other cats that we have here are really fish-based. Maybe the kite, but the only reason I'd say that is because maybe the, maybe the happy little camper dude is a little bit bored with the whole fishing and stuff, so maybe he'd want, like, uh, a kite to sort of, uh, I kind of sort of, uh, you know, fly around and stuff while he's sailing the seven seas and stuff like that. And I realized that actually someone else is holding the kite, so maybe he wants to have the kite, but someone else is having the kite, so, you know, there's like a little dispute thing going on. It's like in camp, obviously, there's like disputes and stuff that can occur amongst the, uh, you know, the, uh, what, oh, what's it called, like the Boy Scouts, yeah, Boy Scouts. I don't know why I kept campers, like, obviously it's Boy Scouts, that's what I meant to say, if I didn't already say that. But, uh, we can, we can start summoning those guys, because, um, for, for actual purposes, they have a long range attack, which should be helpful, because you can see that, uh, this, uh, angel enemy is kind of, kind of doing a lot of damage right here, which is not good, not good. Send out some kiters, send out the whole family right here, because, you know, sticking with theme. And wow, did you see that? That one kid with the kite dude just, like, completely, utterly annihilated that, uh, that, uh, whatever that was, the angel worm thing, <laughs> But, um, geez, <laughs> this is taking a little bit of time right here. You can see that, uh, actually, oh, this is something I forgot to mention right here, but the, um, the Mola King, unlike other Uber cats, actually has a faster recharge time when summoning, like, when it, you're actually summoned to battle, so you can actually potentially summon at least two or three of these guys, depending on how long the battle endures for. As you can see, um, this battle was taking a little bit of time, so that's why we were able to send a second one out, so it's double the royalty and double the fishness, double the epicness, and double the screams of joys and terror, whatever it seems that they're doing. Maybe they're screaming because they're dying or something, <laughs> I don't really know, but, um... Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I can say for these guys right here. Just uh, quickly max up the work cat if possible, just level ends, um, get those lucky tickets. Oh, that's not even it, eh? Hmm, not even the end of this event thing. There still seems to be a few more. Can't really tell by the map, but I think we're going to stop there, actually, because we've already, we're really close to, like, going a little bit over time here on accidents. So, do I recommend using this cat? I will say only yes if you uh, just want to have a little bit of fun in the game. Like, obviously, just to reiterate, this cat, the Molo King Living Legend, is not really that strong. And obviously, if it takes a hit from, like, even the weakest of enemies, it's going to go down. So you, ca you might want to be careful of that. If you want to challenge, um, sort of just, you know, use a fish cat <laughs> that happens to be an Uber, then go for it. But other than that, just keep as a collection. Don't really use it too, too much. Um, obviously, there's just so many other pet cats out there. 
but it's still fun to use for sure. Um, obviously, it's kind of hard now because uh, for all you guys, the newer generations or people that missed the events back in uh, 2015, then obviously you're not going to be able to get this cat, but um, at least you're able to see you know, me use it at least and tell you guys about it. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then hit that, uh, smack that like, or ugh, just getting my words mixed up. Hit that like button, comment and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Battle Cats videos in the future. If you have any more suggestions for cats that you want to see, just let me know in the comment section below and I will consider it for future videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Woo!